morning everyone and welcome to Utopia Farms on this brutally cold windy day. Got sunshine but it's not helping the temperatures any. So today will be a lot like yesterday. Arnie's on manure duty and I'll be basically looking after the maternity ward. So let's have a look what happened today. Okay, we heard crying in the barn and we're looking for Is a lamp. No, he's way on your side. Want me to reach my hand in? Is he moving? Can yeah, you he, me I can try. See, let me, hang on a second. He's moving. That's not Jessel. Okay, we had a lamb that somehow got in the wall. Or is it hers? Do you want a lamb? She's she's she's, she's going to have triplet. No, this is a Rito. Oh. Do you want to nurse it? Cuz the other one won't take it now. She hasn't well, how does a lamb get in the freaking wall? I told you. How for that today? Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to put her in a jug? Will she follow it? I don't know. I don't Is there a jug ready? I'd be shocked if she has a twin. Really? I would try it with her. She might have no plugs or it, but she's letting it nurse, so I'd stay away from it. Okay, so this is a stealer. Luckily, she hasn't lambed yet, but she's gonna lamb like shortly. But uh, another, you had a lamb in the middle of the night twins so it must be hers and we Arnie thought he heard a lamb crying and so we've been searching in the straw couldn't find anything and uh, then we saw the hole in the wall how does a lamb get in a hole in the wall thank God for stealers sometimes because the other mom probably wouldn't take it right now I can honestly say I've never seen anything like that happen before. Um, that was old plywood and there was a little bit of a rat hole in it. And I can't for the life of me imagine how it got in there. And behind there at like about two and a half feet behind there. So Arnie had to, luckily it was rotten plywood, not rotten, but it was <laughs> going soft. So he was able to tear a the hole even bigger and drag this lamb out. We tubed it because it hasn't had anything to drink for quite some time. This mom is in full labor so she's uh, she's confused and was a stealer so she's thinking this is her lamb. And the stimulation of all this going on, we put her in a jug, um, has caused her to go into labor. See that she a sack coming out? And I'm going to go in there and just rub that uh, mucus on this lamb just uh, so that when the baby is born, they'll s smell alike. This is the real mother, uh, Suffolk Texel Cross. And there's two boys in here. And that third one is a girl. They're both out of the same ram. Okay, this is the wall where the lamb was born. A hole was right here. And we tore off that. It had gotten all the way along there. And was back in there. 
how does a lamb do that? I have no idea. Um, it doesn't even look like anything could fit in there except for a mouse or a rat. So we had to tear the bottom off to get it out. And not only that, last night it was another minus 25 when Arnie checked the barn at, uh, must have been around 5 o'clock th this morning. He found uh, that ewe with the two lambs and took them out and put them in a jug. And it's now like 10.30 in the morning. Um, and God knows when those lambs were born because they were born when he found them. So that lamb has been in here for minimum six or seven hours and this is an exterior wall with minus 25 temperatures and it seems fine yeah like i said yesterday wonders never cease and now this pen is pretty quiet we thought we were losing our minds because we could hear a lamb and we went all through this straw thinking it was someone really little and that somehow it got buried in the straw. But, uh, yeah. Crazy. Half an hour later. And, uh, that's the mom and the lamb in the wall. And, uh, this is her lamb. <laughs> another ewe lamb. So they're sisters. I don't think she has another one. Um, that, it's really cold in here today. So that one's uh, soaking wet, so it's in a it's in a blanket on a hot water bottle until it dries up. Hopefully, it'll dry soon. And we'll see how this works out. Tonight we're gonna see how these two did. This is then her natural baby. And over there trying to get cozy. She fell right over. You silly girl. Oh, silly. You want to lie down? Oh, here they are. This is the natural born one. Hi. You're very pretty. She's got ears. And this one over here with mom. That's Wally. So, this is mom with her two babies. She's very proud. She loves them both equally. Hey. Hi. Her own has really big ears. Hi, you're very pretty. Very pretty. And this is Wally. She had a bad start, but she found a really good mom. She found a really good mom and she's doing really well. They're both nursing. Hi. So we're gonna end today's episode on a good note with Wally the Miracle Lamb and her newfound sister. And tomorrow I'll update you on all the other happenings on the farm with all the lambs. But we're going to call it a night tonight. Bye for now.